Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something really fun. I had the idea of doing a full face using multitasking products. I know a lot of you guys are always on the go. If you're like me and you travel a lot, sometimes you might wanna have things that you can use in multiple ways. It'll help you kind of streamline your makeup collection or your skincare or whatever it might be. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm also so excited because this video is sponsored by Clarisonic, which is a brand that I've been using for a couple years now. And I'm so excited to share with you this multitasking device that I have fallen in love with. It's something that I've been using for the past two months, although I've been using Clarisonic for about two years now. And I do feel like Clarisonic is the one thing in my skincare routine that has been consistent, especially over the past few months where I've been really trying to figure out my skin and try to figure out all the breakouts. A lot of you guys may know that I've been seeing an esthetician over the past couple months and she also recommends that I use Clarisonic. And I'm so excited to tell you guys all about the new Mia Smart device, which I have been taking with me everywhere. Like this comes in my suitcase no matter where I'm going. And this one is especially awesome because there are so many different attachments that you can use on it, which I'm gonna share with you guys today. The Clarisonic that I originally started using was the original Mia 2 right here. That device worked really well for me, but I kept watching Tati's videos. And if you guys don't know, Tati loves Clarisonic. And she kept using the Smart Profile Uplift, which had like the firming attachment on it. And I was like so intrigued by that, but that attachment wouldn't work on my Mia 2. And so I was kind of like hesitant to purchase another one because the Mia 2 was working well for me. And then they released the Mia Smart, which is kind of a hybrid of both of those actually. You get to use any of the attachments that were previously available, such as the cashmere brush, which I personally love, the foundation brush, and then you can also use other attachments like the firming head on this device, and it's a much better price in my opinion, and it does so much more. You can now use it for cleansing and anti-aging as well as makeup application because of all the interchangeable brush heads. And they also have an app that you can sync with your device to kind of create a customized skincare routine, which is really cool. It reminds you when you need to wash your face with the Clarisonic, it kind of keeps track of how many times you've used it, what attachments you've used, and also you're able to kind of track your skin's progress on the app, which is so awesome. I'm gonna start off by cleansing the skin. The brush head that comes on this is called the Daily Radiance Brush. This is what it looks like. It's very soft and gentle. They also have a sensitive brush head, which is great for sensitive skin. Clarisonic devices cleanse the skin six times better than hands can alone. And with me trying out makeup all the time, trying new products and having so many things on my skin, using the Clarisonic brush at night especially to help remove my makeup is so key in keeping my skin clear. Obviously in this video I'm not removing makeup with it, I'm just gonna show you for demonstrative purposes how exactly I use it on my skin. I wet my face, I wet the brush, and I apply my favorite cleanser to the brush head and then I go ahead and use that to clean all the makeup and dirt and whatever is on my skin off my face. You want to replace your brush heads every three months. That will just ensure that your brush stays clean and there's not bacteria building up and it doesn't cause acne. Another reason why I decided to invest in a Clarisonic is because compared to other facial cleansing devices, this one actually is very different in how it cleanses the skin. A lot of other facial brushes that I used in the past would just spin around. This brush head does not spin around. It will move really quickly kind of back and forth. And the thing that's really awesome about that is it reduces irritation and inflammation, especially if you have acne prone skin. So now that my skin is cleansed and rinsed, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the attachment. I like to put the cap back on. That way I can remove the attachment really easily and then I'll just store this upright on my counter. So now Next, I'm going to apply my moisturizers and serums and I'm gonna use the firming attachment for that. So I'll go ahead and just snap this on. Here's what the firming attachment looks like. It's a very gentle and flexible attachment. This is called the Firming Massage Head and I love to use this when applying skincare, especially in the morning actually, because it really helps to kind of wake me up and depuff my face and it also helps your skincare absorb even better, which is the best. So in the daytime, I like to use a few different products. I've been mixing the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Serum with the C Firm A Day Serum and I'm just going to apply this all over the skin and down the neck. And then I take my Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I like a more gel-based cream in the daytime because I feel like it's more lightweight for under makeup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and distribute this all over the skin. And I don't worry about really rubbing it in the skin when I'm using this because the firming massage head will help it absorb into the skin. And I start on the decollete and I use it for 30 seconds here. And then I use it for 30 seconds on the neck and jawline. And I always move in upward motions. Then I do 30 seconds on each cheek and then 30 seconds on the forehead. After I'm done using this, I'll go ahead and rinse it off in the sink and then I'll just pat it dry. That way there's no skincare left over on the device. And now I'm gonna switch the head again. So I just put the cap back on, rotate it, and then it just pops off like that. So the next attachment we're gonna use is the Sonic Awakening Eye Massager. This might be my favorite attachment. You have no idea how much this has saved me in the morning from extremely puffy eyes. It feels so incredible. Here's what this attachment looks like. 
These two silver dots are rounded aluminum, which stays extremely cold and really deep puffs the eyes. It feels amazing on the skin. If you want the aluminum to be even more cold, you can keep the attachment in the fridge and it really adds even more of a deep puffing effect to the attachment. It is so good, I love this. So I usually go ahead and put on my daytime eye cream, which is the Drunk Elephant Sea Tango. This is also a little bit more of a gel formula, which I love for the morning and it helps depuff by itself. So this combined with the Clarisonic Awakening Eye Massager is just the best. I'll go ahead and apply this all over the eye area and I don't really worry about letting it absorb too much. So I start underneath the eyes and this will help reduce crow's feet, fine lines and wrinkles and obviously depuff. It is incredible, I love this. So now my skin is so awake and ready for makeup. I am gonna show you how I use the foundation attachment which also fits on the Clarisonic Mia Smart device. Before we get into the makeup, Makeup application, I want to let you guys know that I am doing a giveaway with Clarisonic. So if you want more info on that, I will go ahead and link it down below. It's going to be on my Instagram. So be sure to check that out for a chance to win the Clarisonic Mia Smart device. Also, as always, if you guys want more information on this device, the link will be down below. So be sure to check that out as well. The next multitasking product I'm going to be using is the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Flash Balm. This is a three in one product. It looks like this. It's a moisturizer, primer, and a face mask all in one. Today I'm gonna to use it as kind of a moisturizer and primer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a really thin layer of that all over the skin. This has rose extract in it, it helps balance pH. If you wanna use it as a mask, you can use it all over the skin and leave it on for five minutes and it will kind of give you an instant boost. But I feel like it's really nice underneath makeup, so that's how I'm gonna use it today. My next multitasking product is one that you guys have seen me talk about quite a bit. It's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense. I love this because it's my sunscreen and it also protects against blue light that comes through your phone and it also works as a primer. So I'm gonna be layering these two products, the Pixi One and the Complexion Rescue Defense. Because this has zinc sunscreen in it, I do like to apply this with my hands just because the warmth of my fingers really helps the zinc white cast kind of blend out on my skin a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the skin. And I always like to press my sunscreen into the skin just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere throughout the day. So for foundation today, I really thought that this was a great multitasking product, the Dermablend Flawless Creator Pigments. These are multi-use liquid pigments because it's basically just pigment, like it says, and you can use it as is all over the skin, you can mix it with your serums, your moisturizers, and you can really customize any sort of formula with this product. So I felt like this was a really good multitasking base product. For me, I really like to use this as is. I think it's an amazing full coverage foundation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this onto the back of my hand first because I have to mix two shades for my perfect shade. And since this is pure pigment, you really don't need that much. I'm just gonna go ahead and dot this on the first half of my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sonic Foundation Brush, which looks like this. And I'm gonna use this to blend out my foundation. This works so well. Especially with these liquid pigments, I feel like it just really helps it blend over all the existing products so beautifully. Look at the difference. I love this foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side of the face. And with this applicator, it's important to put the foundation on your skin first, not the brush first. That will just give you the best results. So now that my foundation is nice and blended out, I'm actually gonna kinda go in a weird order. I'm gonna go ahead and fill my brows. And the multitasking product that I chose for brows was this one by Benefit. It's the Brow Contour Pro Pencil. This is a four-in-one pencil that helps you define and also highlight your brows. I'm just gonna brush up my brows first with a different spoolie. I actually did do a video on this, and if you are interested in seeing that, I will go ahead and link it down below. I'm gonna start with the deeper shade to fill in the outer portion of the brow. Then I'm gonna take the lighter pencil and fill in the inner portion of the brow. And then I'm gonna use the definer to define the brows. I like to blend out the definer shade with a brush. This makes such a difference to these brows when you define them, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna brush through them again. And then I'm gonna use the highlighting shade just under the arch of the brow right here. So there we go, there are the brows. I actually love how they look. So such a fun four-in-one pen. So I don't think I need too much more coverage, but I am gonna add a little bit more concealer to my blemishes. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I couldn't really find like a multitasking concealer. I guess this one's anti-aging, so maybe that works. I'm just gonna apply some of that to my blemishes and I'm gonna blend it out with the Clarisonic Foundation Brush. I'm gonna use the shade Fair under the eyes. This concealer blended out so nicely with the Clarisonic foundation brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal the under eye area in kind of like a triangle shape. I'm also gonna apply some to the chin and a little bit to the forehead just to kind of add a highlight there. Maybe I'll apply some to the nose as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out again with the 
brush and I'm barely putting any pressure on the concealer. I'm letting the brush do all the work. I'm also gonna take that same concealer and put it on the eyelid and I'm gonna use a sponge to blend this out since there are some very hard to reach areas. I'm also gonna make sure that the concealer is in this inner corner here and really close to the lash line under the eyes. I just wanna show you the complexion. I only used the sponge right around the eye area. Everything else was blended out by the Clarisonic foundation brush. There's not a brush mark, which is incredible. I love this. I'm gonna go ahead and set the T-zone with the Lawless Classic Translucent Setting Powder. I've been loving this stuff. The best part about it is it's very smoothing and it's made with all good for you ingredients. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press this into the T-zone, but I'm gonna leave the outer portions of my face bare and you will see why in just a second. So this next powder I feel like is a multitasker because you can set the face and it also leaves a glow. So it's kind of like a two-in-one in the sense that you have a powdery finish, but you don't have a powdery finish. Like it leaves you glowy. I love this stuff. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and this is in the glow finish. So this is what we're gonna use on the outer portions of the face. I'm just gonna take a little bit in the cap and just swirl it around with a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this to set the perimeter of the face. It leaves such a gorgeous kind of golden sheen to the skin, but it makes your makeup last. And who doesn't want that? You can also dust it across the nose if you'd like, just for even more glow on the high points of the face. Do you see that? That's just the powder. I love this, it's so pretty. So I purchased this next product because of some of you guys recommending it. It's the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette and this is just kind of like a highlighting, bronzing, sculpting blush palette and I feel like when it comes to a multitasking product, this is what I love to use on a daily basis or something like this, I guess. Just any sort of face palette that has a bronzer, blush, highlighter. This is kind of nice because it has contour and a matte highlight powder as well. So I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, which is the contour shade. And I'm gonna use this to just sculpt the face. This is not gonna add warmth. That's why it's more of a cool tone. I'm just gonna use it around the cheekbones or under the cheekbones, I guess, kind of by the temples, a little bit along the jawline and chin. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush just to kind of sculpt the sides of the nose with this same shade. So I'm sculpting the sides underneath the nose a little bit and underneath the lip just to make it look more pouty. While I have this brush out, I am going to go ahead and use the same palette in the eye area. And since this is a good contour shade, I'm gonna use it to contour the crease of my eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and forth in windshield wiper motions. And I'm bringing it into this inner corner here a little bit too, just because I feel like that looks nice leading into the nose contour on the side. I'm also gonna bring it out toward the end of the brow. I'm also gonna take that same shade and just really lightly dust it under the lower lash line for a little bit of definition there. So next I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and I'm just gonna dip into this warm bronzer. And I'm kind of going to apply this right above where we just applied the contour shade on the cheeks just to add in some warmth. And this is what I'm gonna also use to warm up the forehead. You guys know I love bronzer on the forehead, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the forehead and move it into the hairline just so it looks more natural. This bronzer on top of the Laura Mercier powder creates such a gorgeous bronzy golden sheen on the outer portions of the face just because it blends so nicely over top of that luminous setting powder. I love it. it looks so pretty. I am gonna take some of that bronzer down the neck. I'm gonna take the brush that we used with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just kind of blend over that on the forehead to make sure it's really blended. I'm using the bronzer brush again. I'm just gonna kind of dab this across the nose. And I'm also wanting to use this on the eyes. So I'm gonna use this a little bit lower than the contour shade on the eyelid just to add a little bit of warmth into the eyes. So I'm just moving that back and forth right below the crease. I'm also gonna focus it on this outer third of the eyelid, blending it in toward the lashes. I'm gonna take that same brush and just pinch it and move it across the lower lash line just to kind of carry the same colors along the lower lash line as well. Next, I'm gonna go into this blush shade right here. I'm gonna tap off the extra on my brush and I'm gonna smile and just press that on the apples of the cheeks and then pull it backwards. This is such a pretty blush. I'm also gonna take this across the nose and maybe what's left along the forehead and chin just a little bit to make it look a little more sun-kissed. I'm gonna take this matte banana yellow shade and just on like a smaller brush, I'm gonna use this to kind of define the cheekbone slightly. So I'm just gonna dust it right underneath the contour, but I'm gonna make sure it's blended a little bit so it's not like a harsh line, but I do want to kind of define that a little. I'm also gonna take that same brush and just kind of dust this right underneath the eye area between the blush and eyeshadow just to kind of brighten that a little. This powder is so pretty. It brings like a luminosity under the eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to blend with the translucent powder brush just to make sure it's all seamless. I wanna use this darker highlight shade on my eyelids because it's too dark to use on my skin as a highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the eyelid, 
kind of in this inner portion here, about halfway across the lid. I'm gonna take that same brush and just kind of dust that bronzy shade along the lower lash line on the inner third as well. I almost forgot, I wanna use a little bit of the blush and just apply that right in this area of the eye here. I feel like that will just kind of pull everything together. Since it's already in this palette, might as well. Next, I'm gonna go into this highlighter shade and we're gonna use this to really emphasize the high points of the face. So along the cheekbones, down the center of the nose, cupid's bow, this is a really pretty highlight. And I'm also gonna kind of use it underneath the brow right there. I'm gonna take that same shade and just pop this into the inner corner of the eyes. I'm gonna take off the foundation that got on the lips. Next, we're gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Mascara. The reason why I'm using this is because it's a two-in-one, you have a primer and a mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the first side, which is labeled number one. And I'm going to apply this to the top and bottom lashes. All right, so there's the primer. Now I'm gonna use the second side, step two, and I'm just gonna apply it right on top of both the top and bottom lashes, mainly focusing on the top lashes. That's a really pretty mascara. For lips, I had a couple options in mind. When it comes to multitasking lip products, I had a couple things in my head, like either you could use kind of a tinted lip balm because it's gonna moisturize your lips and give them color, but I found these two lip products that I wanted to share with you. The first one is the By Terry Twist On Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Latte and Toffee. Hopefully you can see this, but it's actually divided in two with a darker and lighter shade. So it's meant to contour your lips as well as fill them in. And the same kind of concept goes for this product, which is the Benefit Their Real Double the Lip lip product. And this one's in the shade Nude Scandal. So the top portion is the liner and then the lower portion is lighter and it's supposed to kind of contour the lips. So I'm gonna use one of these today. I think I might use the By Terry one. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the lips with the darker shade on the outside. And it's gonna look a little crazy at first and then I blend it in. So I'm just gonna take my finger and start to blend the two colors together. You don't want like a harsh difference, but you do kind of want a little bit more of the darker shade on the outer portion as a liner and a contour. So it should look a little something like that. All right, we're gonna assess the situation before we lock in the makeup. I feel like I want just a tad bit more blush right here. And then I'm gonna dip back into the bronzer shade and just add slightest amount to the forehead. So the last multitasking product I'm gonna show you guys today is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. You can use this actually to prime, which I didn't do today, but you definitely could if you wanted to before your makeup. You can use it in the middle of your makeup to kind of help the foundation blend a little bit together. But today I'm gonna to use it to set the face and you can also use it throughout the day to refresh your makeup and make it look a little bit more fresh, I guess, if your makeup starts to look a little funny throughout the day and you just need a little pick me up. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this all over the face. And as always, I'm gonna use my fan and lightly press it into the skin with my sponge. To set the brows, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Clear Brow Gel. This isn't necessarily a multitasking product, I just like to set my brows. And that is it, you guys, that completes this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of those multitasking products. Again, a special thank you to Clarisonic for sponsoring a portion of this video. I love Clarisonic and I love the Clarisonic Mia Smart Device, you guys. I know it's an investment, but it is so worth it. It is genuinely something that has really transformed my skin. It's seriously worth every penny, in my opinion. I've used it so much, so if you're looking to invest in a skincare product that you can really count on, no matter what products you're using topically, you can switch out your cleansers and your moisturizers, but the Clarisonic has always been a staple in my skincare routine, and now the Clarisonic Mia Smart is my favorite. I take it everywhere and I've been loving it for the past few months that I've been using it. If you guys are interested in anything that I mentioned today, everything will be linked in the description box down below. You can check out the Mia Smart in the description box. And also if you guys are interested in winning a Mia Smart, I will have details down below on how to enter my Instagram giveaway that I'm doing with Clarisonic. So be sure to check that out. You guys don't wanna miss it. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified every single time I post a video on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every time I post. I must say, I love this look. It's a beautiful, natural, everyday look. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite multitasking products are. I would love to know. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for always coming back to my channel and for watching my videos. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!